So I've got my jig cut for these, which means every bit of cut will be exactly the same from now on. So I'll get all one side done, create a new jig for the other side. And the aim is to just get all these pieces cut, ready to mount up. And then we've got some work to do on the big post, notching out and getting all level and stuff. But that's after this. I'm gonna get as many of these done as humanly possible. Hello. What's happened to your mic? It's a bit vibrating. Why is it vibrating? When I walk around, you can hear it. Oh, that, oh, that, oh that's what you did when you said it was driving you nuts. Um, are you free for five minutes at some point? For five minutes? Oh no, wait. Just to carry the last like beams. So just got to get the last yeah. few beams into the wall garden. Unfortunately, they're at the furthest reaches of the chateau, so I need a hand. Hey, Steven Spielberg started somewhere. <laughs> Ooh, artistic. the dragonfly look at the other dragonfly the blue dragonfly yeah look at that oh they're mating oh look follow no, the mate killing i think that's killing is it okay so we've got three more female cuts to do and then I can start marking the top of these big beams. Now the wall, you know, is a bit of a slope so it makes it kind of a bit harder. So it's got to kind of look straight but be wonky, which normally I'm a pro at, but doing it on purpose is a little bit harder. Last three, I'm going to start marking the tops. God, it's hot today. Look, sweat, sweaty brow. I don't get paid enough for this. Now, for those of you that don't know, all the wood that we're using for this is from the forest. So it's all the trees that were endangering the chapel hanging over it. We cut them down, we've had them milled. They've been resting about a year now. So all the wood is from the chateau and we're reusing it and making it into something else, which is amazing. And the quality of it is so much better than what we can buy around here. So strong, super straight. So it's time now to get the line across the top so I can cut all the tops to the right length. What I'm gonna do is get one line in right at the start, ping a line all the way to the other end, mark all the beams, and then I can cut them off. Okay. 
the easiest way for me to cut it is going to be a chainsaw but I'm a bit worried about the finish of it it can be quite well it can be quite rippy and horrible edges so I'm going to try one before we lose the light and just see if that's the way I'm going to go <laughs> Right, so that's not really working as I wanted it to. It's fraying quite a lot. I think I need a brand new chain on the chainsaw. I need to make some sort of jig that fits round like a collar so it stops it fraying and it can get a nice straight cut. I think it'll work, just... I was hoping it was going to be easier than that, if I'm going to be completely honest. Anyway, see you guys for more of this tomorrow. Do I get credit now? Yeah. <laughs>